Hey there guys, how are you all doing? I'm Rahul and today for you I'm going to be talking about gaming and in particular the future of gaming because I really do think that the future of gaming is something which um, should be looked into because it is something really cool. Now the gameplay in the background is some Battlefield 4 after the patch so um, we'll just have to see how this turns out. I haven't really played all that much of the game so I can't give a definite opinion on whether it is better or worse but from what I have played it does seem to be much better than it was before. I'm not getting as frustrated as much and overall you're going to be having a more fun time when you are playing on the battlefield now gaming um, when it comes to gaming I started gaming when I was around five years old or so on um, a PC yeah, playing like maybe Harry Potter or something I've said this before in the past but um, I play I just played some like uh, simple games and stuff and throughout time and like until now games have really um, gone and evolved I mean you've got things like Battlefield 4 with a stunning graphics and stuff and you've got PCs able to handle it but then even if you go further than that you've got something like the oculus rift which um, if you told someone about maybe even just five years ago they, they would be a bit skeptical about the idea because of the fact that like you, you're putting on a headset and you're able to move and see exactly where you like you it moves with you and stuff and it feels like you're actually there I mean I used a Euro gamer and I was playing some flight simulator game or something and um it really did feel like I was in a cockpit of a plane because if I looked down I could see my body and stuff and um, I don't know it just felt really surreal so um with, with gaming in particular I think this is something that should be looked into because um uh, there are a few models which have been built up at the at the moment for like um different games there was one for battlefield 3 i remember back in the past the gadget show which is a tv show in the uk they they made this kind of model thing where you, it was like a massive room uh, it was a it was like a it was a cylinder kind of room place and then there was projectors projecting along the outside of the cylinder so you could um see the game and then you were on this kind of like roll pad um the table thing you was you were on it and then when you moved forward it was kind of like you um on a running machine it moved with you so you weren't moving forward but you, you you were like doing the action to move forward and in game that was reflected then you were holding a weapon and you were shooting and then what was really cool was there was paintball guns all around the side so when you did get shot it would it would trigger the paintball gun and you would get shot in real life so these are like the big simulator simulators which are happening and I think over time these are gonna just get improved and um, it, it would it's just gonna be pretty much the easiest thing to install uh, and it can just be at your fingertips ready to play you can even probably just get the headset which um, connects to your brain somehow I don't I don't know how but it would do and then you could feel those things without even having to do anything else like that I think the whole virtual reality thing this is where gaming is going and I think it is really cool now aside from virtual reality and stuff that is all cool but what we've got to play with today we've got all this competitive gaming counter-strike and stuff I'm really enjoying this competitive side of gaming and um, it, it goes to the question how far will competitive gaming go now I'm um, with others with actual sports you've got football and stuff that, that the competitiveness in football is quite big I mean it's seen within schools and stuff you've got teams which um play together and um within school itself you're able to like miss lessons and stuff to go out and play a proper match and maybe even go training if you're at a high enough level but I want to ask the question when will this happen with gaming will it ever happen with gaming and, and that is something actually that is really cool to think about because um with gaming you, you wouldn't really expect say there's like a pro event which is going on you wouldn't expect someone because um you do get gamers who are who are still in school and stuff you've got some people on pro cs teams who are like 16 17 years old so they're in schooling but if there's like a pro event something like dream and it's going on during school hours are they able to miss school to go to it? i mean these events they're not just like some random events set up by some guy in his basement these are like proper events with lots of money put into them for, for instance dream hack which happened um i think a couple of weeks ago it was in a proper event they had like um big screens they had audience area and um it was a really big deal i think the prize for it was maybe two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or something but but the prize pools within games i know for instance dota 2 that is a that is a game with lots of money involved with it you can get like up to a million dollars or something i've heard before so um there is a lot of money involved with it and, and money is like probably the main drive with what goes like on competitively and proper like to miss school or something i don't know well maybe not to miss school but but like um the, the whole idea of the, the just competitive in general it is really cool and i, I think within these next few years it's going to get really big and um, we are going to be seeing like the society in general just taking more of a view into it having like kind of more look into it because um at the moment it is very small not many people know about it if you went to someone and talked about competitive like counter-strike for instance they probably won't really have an idea of what is going on i mean but if you talked about competitive just sport in general then they would i mean for instance i was talking to my dad the other day he likes golf quite a lot and
and um, golf uh, to, to me, in, in fact, it does seem quite similar to Counter Strike. I mean. Say, let's just say you want to practice for golf, you go to a driving range. For CS, you would go on and play deathmatch. Then you've got actually competitive plays, and then you can like go on proper play golf on a course. And um, for Counter Strike, you play like death, um, not deathmatch, you play like defuse or something. And then there are proper teams and stuff which go in. There's money involved, you can bet, you can do all that kind of stuff, and that is available in Counter Strike. In available in golf it's just the same thing so yeah I just want to see how far it would go and it's kind of just like an open-ended debate so in the comments I'd like to see you hear your guys opinions on how how you think gaming will evolve within the future maybe in the next five years ten years or even in within the next 50 years what will happen with gaming will it just completely stop that is a that is something that we haven't looked at but um personally I don't think it will I think it'll carry on and become something great if you do like this video or um, these kind of videos then tell me in the comments I do like just talking into the mic, like giving out my opinion, and um, yeah, just tell me in the comment section if you did like the video, I can probably produce another one like this, and um, as always, I've been Hall, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the battlefield.